You know, I would never dye my hair. Oh, would you not? I would never dye my hair. She hit you any very much to dye. It would only, you know, in your scalp. Would it, no? I didn't really ask you that. You know, I just said that I would never dye my hair. Tell me this. Did you get that suit in the club book? It's very nice, sir. That's tailor-made, actually. Of course, you wouldn't realize that. It's a novel, Patty, because you've got to send it back, you know. It's beautifully You're formed, looking well, anyway. Thank you very much, indeed. This is Christopher Cross. You'd probably like him. Hit him? This is Jerry Anderson here. You listen to BBC Radio Australia and Radio Foil. Uh, if you want to contact this programme, the number to ring is 0645 555678. That's my spiel. With me, at least. With joined by Mr. Robert Acondrack. At Until last. For the next hour. Until the top of the hour. Until David Dunsees will then talk a load of stuff at you. Stop now. The man's going to sing. All right. Took my troubles down to the sea. That's a lovely song. That's Christopher Cross. That's from an album out a few years back now. Well, not all that many, about three or four. That's a, an album called Rendezvous. That's a song called A Fisherman's Tale. Two lovely flamingos on the cover. Did you notice that? Yes. Isn't that a lovely album? Oh, it is. I mean, it's a piece of furniture in itself. It's almost acceptable. Yes. You're not yourself today, are you? I know what's wrong with you. What? I've treated you abominably this last couple of weeks. You, you weren't here. Uh, and I told the people that you weren't due to be here today. Excuse me. It's not that I wasn't here, or I couldn't have been here. Just I wasn't here wanted. Well, that's, there's a certain amount of truth in that. Just let me explain. Enough See, a lot of truth in it. We were doing stuff in the studio here that the listeners were not aware of. And, well, you would have, well, got in the way. You told me that on the telephone. I know, I'm just, I'm just trying to explain to the listeners... But it was the way you said it, Mr. Anderson. I know, it's the... Robert, Denny Bowler coming in, you'd only get in the road, we're doing filming, and we didn't want you there. That's right, Jim. And you tell me Charlie Lancaster was going to be here, and I says, I was that excited. And you says, no, we don't want him to meet you. We didn't want you near Charlie Lancaster. No. And then you're coming in, and you're supposed to be sucking all around me the day. And I'm supposed to forget it. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I can uh, make it up to you in some do way. Do I not have feelings? I don't know, do when you? When you cut me, do I not bleed? Well, I'll try it later. Uh, incidentally, I mentioned, I hope you don't mind, uh, because you know that the heady world of show business, you know that I live in a level above you. I have to make these decisions here. You know, my life's a glittering mass of, well, functions. And I just can't, you know... I can sometimes make promises, but sometimes I have to renege on them. Sometimes change the ground underneath you changes rapidly, instantly. My, my, I live in the fast lane, and just things just go bang, 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 you know? And sometimes there's no room for, well, the little people. Do you know, we coming up here, we even had to get into the crawler lane. <laughs> Oh, incidentally, be speaking of crawling, uh, I have to say sorry to the people out there. I think I mentioned that Rich Hill was in County Antrim. It's not, of course. It's in County Armagh. I was talking about a car boot sale. You know, sp speaking about sales and car boot sales and rickety wheels in general, look at this. Well, you know, it, I have in my hand a piece of paper. It's the, all the prizes, an updated list of the prizes for the rickety wheel. Oh, can I see them? No, you can't. No, I'm going to read them out here because this time I did this. Now, these there's, are, there's, there's dozens of pages. I know. I'm not going to read them all out. Oh, that's right. But this is what we have so far. Yes. People are out here depending on it. You know what I mean? This is this may seem like small potatoes to you, but this is the life's blood to many people out are there. Are you trying out these prizes to make sure they're all right? No, I'm just telling the people what the prizes are. And, and I'm, I'm saying that this is not the final list. It may be augmented. There may be extra ones. We're looking for meat parcels. Might be what, Miss Henry? Augmented. We're looking for meat parcels. Incidentally, may I take this point of asking the people out there, we need spectacular prizes. We have lots of little prizes, but good prizes. We want more meat parcels, we want more turkeys, and we want more cakes. And we want a duck and we want a goose. A duck and? A duck and we want a goose. Oh. Does a man want me to turn a raggedy wheel? This, this is a, a comprehensive list. We have to talk to a man in England first before we go any further. Hello, good morning, man in England. Hello. Hello. Hello, caller. Yes, what can we do for you? Um, I was just reading the new yellow pages this morning. Yes. On the inside cover, big hello, it says. Have you ever seen hello spelled with a W? H-E-L-L-O-W. On the yellow pages? Mm-hmm. Well, that, is that not a little advertising ploy, like hello, yellow? <laughs> I don't know. Uh-huh. That's what it is, yeah. You see, you're obviously not in tune with, with modern advertising practices. <laughs> well, it's, I can spell, but it's that way. <laughs> it's the association. Hello, yellow. <laughs> now, don't worry about that. It's Those okay. big cover letters, it seems very funny. Plus the fact that reading about Eddie Irvin, farther up in the book, and they talk about him breaking in the car, B-R-E-A-K. Well, that's unforgivable. That's, well, she must have used for that now anyway, because none of them can spell. So I heard someone on the news the other day talking about uh, a rugby match. Yeah. 
and they said that uh, it was a girl actually, and she said that one of the uh, one of the players was injured and, and had to go off, leaving the ten men to play. You know, mm -hmm. you get that? Maybe you're not a sports fan. Tell me. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Sorry, there's a uh, man uh, trying to get in here. What? Hello, uh, Mister. Can I ask you a question about spelling? Me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, here. Jim is suing seed. Spell suing. Spell what? Suing. Jim is suing seed. Spell suing. Chewing? Suing. I can't make you out on this phone. Let, let me try and translate that for you. <laughs> Jim is sowing seed. Sowing yes. seed? Yes. Spell S O W I N G. That's right. Jill is suing a dress. They're suing a C S E W. They're both suing something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Spell suing. Yes. Oh, that's, well, that's a tricky one, isn't it? That's a really tricky one. That's tricky. <laughs> He's a smart ass. He is indeed, just. Yeah, here. Cursed. Uh, no, he didn't. No, it's a well known expression. Who is it? Okay, then, sir. Thank you very much. Right. God bless you. Right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You will, you will, you will, you will. <laughs> now, let me. Look, here's the, here's the, the, the list of prizes. I'm going to go through these. In no particular order. I want to do this to explain and demonstrate the uh, vast variety of prizes we have. They, they range from the wonderful to the downright ridiculous. Right. Two gallons of dark green emulsion. Yes, sir. A man called Dan Fitzpatrick will bronze a pair of baby shoes. Uh, Mairead from Uri will give a small painting. Of? Charlie Nash will cut your hair in Waterloo Barbers in Derry Stoke, London. Hello, Miss Anderson. What's the small painting of? We don't know yet. Uh, Johnny Patterson will give us a bag of coloured stone for our graves. Ah. Uh. Uh, Eddie Hall in the North Down and Arts Institute of Further and Higher Education will give one free place on sorry one free place one free place man <laughs> one free place in one of their ten week leisure programs with the School of Communication Studies and the Arts during the spring term January to April ninety nine. Mm -hmm. See, this is a Rethian values. Yes. Educate, inform, and entertain, and reward. Uh, well, here the, the one that's getting the stone for their grave is going to have to wait a queer while. You have to wait for a while until you use it. Right, a meal for two at the new Benedict's Hotel in Belfast, photographed by the Sunday World, and your photograph published in that newspaper. I would be head of a poor. Michael Collins will give a, a tempo web. A uh, tempo web will create a website and host it on the internet for one year. You too can have your own website. Oh. Lynn McFadden's colleagues and students in the Department of Creative and Health Studies at Belfast Institute are offering a full makeover to one lucky winner. Right? Where was that one again? Lynn McFadden's colleagues and students in the Department of Creative and Health Studies at the Belfast Institute are offering a full makeover to one yes. lucky winner. Uh, Ross Cycles and Castle Welling are giving two prizes, one rally helmet and two hire bikes for a day. Uh, Tommy McGuire, the Drumshane Hotel, listen to Rick Irvinstein, a weekend break for four persons. Four tickets for the Jerry Kelly Show. <coughs> a meal at the old schoolhouse in Castle Espy. That's Collect the one, you had a bit poor. Collected by Limousine. Meal for two, an overnight stay in the bridal suite in the old schoolhouse. But that's the one you have to be poor with. Mick from Omo will give one, night, one day's ice skating on the River Strule during early July. You get half a box of white tiles from Billy. Uh, there be an old Christmas tree in the set of lights. A gift voucher for a craft shop. No, six sorry, Mr. Anderson, I have to interrupt you. That one was with your own. Which one? That was Rose Lawn. Rose Lawn Miles, give you the Christmas tree. Yes, yeah, she was But she went through that. Okay, right, okay. Uh, six rolls of wood chip paper and four borders, a signed photograph of George Jones, a free boiler service anywhere in the great Belfast area, a puffet, uh, puffet. <laughs> uh, two cash prizes of £100, uh, a turkey from a man in Portaferry, a Sunday lunch for four and a bottle of wine at Murlock Tavern in Main Street, Dundrum, County Down, uh, one box of Walker's Crisps accompanied by a weekend in Dublin for two, a countryman, the countryman in the Glen Evie are donating a night's free drink for a man to go there and drink until he falls down. Uh, Karen McLaughlin, three lunches for two at the Northwest Institute restaurant any Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. A Coca-Cola goodie bag containing very nice things, I've seen this. A personalised puzzle can be had from Philip Campbell. A bush, a, a, a case of black bush. I noticed right. you had been sampling that, you know. A picture of Ricky Valens in the Chessman Showband with Jerry Anderson in the photograph with hair. Hmm. A breakfast for two at Covent Garden Cafe High Street Banger with free tea. 40 pound gift voucher from the Glen Don Woolcraft Shop in Cushion Dunn. A meal for two at El Paso Mexican Restaurant at 4 Castle Street in Newton Ards. Uh, a bottle of Mountain Dew whiskey. Oh, a 15 pound basket of flowers. A Lima Valley branch of the country markets are offering a Christmas pudding. Uh, three turkeys. 
a book of poems, a bottle of whiskey, a Tyrone cry, prize, Tyrone crystal prize for a day, a cash prize of twenty pounds. Um, will I go on? I would rather you didn't. A set of bongo drums and a didgeridoo. A rug for the rickety wheel, a home baked Christmas cake. Now these are only there's far more. Three well, pairs of tickets to give, three pairs of tickets to give away at the ultimate Elvis, Elvis tribute in the Arts Theatre in Belfast. Huh? A mahogany bath panel. <laughs> a man called Harry McMullen will donate his services when buying a second hand car. Anywhere in Northern Ireland. Do you know when you go to buy a second hand car and you need a man with you? You know the man that kicks the tires. Uh, he's the one. Uh, he's the one. Or is he the one? You're the man that away. says, "Oh, Jesus, that's a dirty looking car." That. Yes. Oh, I think the man the man is down there. And the boys, I think there's been somebody at the clock there. I don't like a look at that. She's had a wee bit of a bang there at one stage. I look, look at that. She's a nude paint job. You know that man, the man that stand, simply stands his pockets. Yes. And then when you turn around, you think that wee car and he goes, "Oh, Jesus, uh, that boy, Jesus." I don't know. Uh, well, he'll go around and be that yeah, man he, for you. Yes. Um, uh, I'm going to play a little music now for the benefit of the people out there. Here's another song I've played quite a lot, but I keep getting so many requests that I feel a fool is not playing it. Uh, he actually he mentions my name at the start of it. Does he? Have a listen to this. It's all up to you, Henderson. Huh? It's all up to you, Henderson, he says. Yeah? Yeah, I love that. That's why I play that all the time. Is that it, No, no, no. There's more now. He plays oh. the guitar now. There he goes. Hey, is he? It's a, that's a dobro, by the way. You wouldn't know what that is. I've never heard of him. This is a song from a television ad, the Tuberg ad. Oh. Uh, people love this because it's very hard to get this record. Drink. It's Kevin Welch and the Overtones. Oh, is he? That's a drink talk. That's a drink talk, yeah. The song is called Something About You. The album is called Western Beat. Kevin Welch and the Overtones. I'm going to sing it with him. No, don't. It's all yeah. right. No, there's no need for it. Uh, you, don't you turn watch, me off now. Watch, watch me turning off your microphone. Watch. I don't want nobody. You know what I was thinking, Mr. O'Condriac? I saw you sitting aghast in horror at the way that man spoke to me. Yes. Man and what we need is a little bit of, well, what would you say? Well, something to calm us down. Yeah. To get us through the peace. Because too many people walk around angry. Far too angry. And these people don't realize that the truth and the answer to everything that they seek and desire is within them. Correct. There is no peace to be had for material goods. And humor is a wonderful thing. I've seen people driving Bentleys and BMWs and Mercedes Benz who are unhappy. And they don't realize the secret of happiness and, well, it's within them. Within. And the, the, the other stuff is just trappings. 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 Worthless. When that great day comes, when the Lord comes to you and says, What's the score, kid? He's not going to say, Did you have a lot of money? Oh. And welcome to Cleric's Corner, an occasional series of amusing anecdotes and rip-tickling stories from the world of contemporary and traditional religion. Brought to you by Canon Shannon McLean. There's a house on a hill, and it hasn't been lived in for a long, long time. And the windows are all broken, and the paint has lost its shine. And there's nothing ever heard there, for there's nothing ever said. For the life of the house left a long time ago, and the heart of the house is dead. Oh, house of the Lord, can't you feel it, how our heart is growing? When the Spirit comes, He quickens, but when the Spirit leaves, life goes. Who's that? Uh, that's a wee fella from Belfast, Mr. Anderson. What's his name? Robin Mark. Mark? Robin Mark, yes. He's very good, he's isn't he? He's very good. He's very good indeed. Yes, indeed. And I think you're going to play another one of his later? No, I'm not. That's what I thought. <laughs> I think I might, you know, actually, but I'm going to play one other one. <laughs> It's funny, it's a great fun in here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we've got some, I don't know if we can talk about it, we've got some prizes in today which are a little bit, well, I don't know, near the knuckle. Aren't they? But they're not really. But you just have to be careful talking about them. I have an inflatable woman here. I see that. It's in a tin. Or should I say, she's in a tin. Here's an accompanying note. It says, I saw this and thought of you. Me? No, I'm reading What do you buy me an inflatable woman for? 
I, this, I didn't buy the inflatable woman. There's somebody bought it and sent it in. It's for a prize in our Rickley wheel. I, I'm explaining oh, right. the explanatory note here. Oh, yeah. I saw this, it says, and thought of you. She also looks a little bit myself, so a woman sent this in, which is always very positive. Only I'm a redhead, and I know that most men don't like ginger-haired women. Well, I'll tell you what, love, you speak for yourself. Is that right, love? I'm crazy about them. So here she is, the perfect blonde. If you find you have no use for her, maybe you could pass her on to Hugo Duncan. There's a woman who knows what goes on behind the scenes, I'll tell you. Or you could offer her as prize as a prize on the rickety wheel, but for God's sake, don't let Jerry Kelly get his hands on her, or he'll never be the same again. Now, the only thing about this uh, inflatable, it says here, inflatable supermodel, be the envy of your friends. It's, it's a woman in a tin. Yes. A tinned woman. And it says here, give your ego a boost with your very own leggy blonde fantasy. Inexpensive to entertain, never answers back, thinks you're great. A contents it says your PVC inflatable doll, 20 inches high. That's a bit my size. It's a very small doll, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a very small woman. I, I've seen that? small women, but uh, anyway, be the envy of your friends. So there we are. Sure, you couldn't go up to a 20 inch woman, sure, you'd have to get someone to put her up to it. I know. Yeah, but no, no, what I, I, I well, well, let's put it in the rickety wheel. See, I was tempted. Open it. it there's a, you, you pull back this ring, you see, and you open it, and the woman pops say, out. Do do? No, don't open it, because that'll ruin it as a prize. But you had to test it, Miss Tenders. No, no, we can't do it. If we had time, we could test it. But look at the time it is. It's nearly five oh. to... And there's but a call on one. Test it next week, then. We, we well, I, no, no, we can't, because the uh, rickety wheel prizes have been given away. But listen, you have been testing the black No, I just want to warn the people, whoever wins the inflatable woman and pulls this ring back, and the woman goes out, I don't know what's in here. Okay? I don't know what's in here. Look, there it is. There. I don't know what's in here. Also, I'm quite disturbed. I don't know how I mentioned this. What's that? Ah, this is something that came in today, too. This came from... This is a very rare item. It's another prize in our rickety wheel. It's too naked, woman. Yes, it is. But it's not offensive in any way. Uh -huh. Do you know what this is? This no. is a pen, and it's very artistic. Yes. This came in to me from a doctor's surgery. The only people who get these are people who are involved in medicine, doctor's surgery. There's very few mm. of these, but do you know what this is? No. Although it doesn't say on it, this is the official Viagra pen. Is it, boy? Yep. Yeah. That's going on our rickety as well. Official Viagra pen. Very few of these about an inflatable woman. Me look at it. You're not allowed to write with it standing up. Oh. Here's the song. What is it, sir? A Silent Night, Christmas 1915. Oh. It's a it's lovely a sad song. song. Give me that pen. I'm going to. Do you not know that sorry, the record has just sorry. started? Hey? The record's just started. I can't but talk I, to him on the phone. I told you that woman's been waiting now for seven minutes, I waiting on you now. You shouldn't have taken up. She's waiting. On Christmas oh. Day. That's just ten after. On the western front, the guns all died away. And lying in the mud on bags of sand, we heard a German sing from no man's land. He had a tenor voice so pure and true. The words were strange, but every note we knew. Soaring o'er the living dead and damned. A German sang of peace from no man's land. Hello? Yes, good morning, Jeff. Sorry about that. You've been hanging on for a long time. Yes. Okay, what can we do for you then? Right. There was a madman on there about cyclists. Uh, did you hear him? Yes. Well, hey. I don't. I have uh, been on a cycle three times and I fell over. Yes. But what I'd like to say, I'd love to know what sort of a, a vehicle he drives. I would say it's probably a big car, I would imagine. Well, my, me and my husband happened to come on down Monaghan Street yesterday morning, Newry. Yes. And... A van, a delivery van or some sort, parked in Monham Street, and he parked between where the pedestrian crossing is. Right. And when you press and the green man comes up, the vehicle's coming up Monham Street. Couldn't see. Really? Because I, I drive myself. Yeah. So I don't know what he was chatting on about cyclists, because in Newry, they would park on your feet. <laughs> would they? So, I, had, I was given out. Yesterday, I parked in front of a, of a, of a nursery school, a crash yesterday, on a double yellow line. Mm -hmm. And the woman came out to me, and she's very nice. And she told, she told me to go away. Yeah. And I said to her, do you know who I am? I said to her. And she said, Not yes. that it matters. <laughs> no, but I don't mind that. I don't mind. She pointed out to me, and said, you really shouldn't park there because the children would come out and they'd walk behind the car and they wouldn't see all the cars coming. And I said, you're absolutely right, love. And I... I, I went, <laughs> yeah, but you, you can't... Sorry, excuse me, are you okay? Yes, Mr. I just had to sneeze. That's okay. Yeah, but he was giving out about cyclists. 
I know. Physician, heal thyself, I say. He is probably one of these smart guys that drives through the red lights. Well, I can't say that for any de- with any degree of certainty because I, I know not the man, as our no. Lord used to say. Well, what I ain't telling you now, and no harm tell you, it's worse you're getting, it's daster you're getting. I know, I'm, I'm beginning to deteriorate rapidly. Yeah. Uh, well, do you see the next time you go on holiday? Yes. Don't come back, like, let Mr. Kyle run your show altogether. Oh, well, that's a terrible... Oh, 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 I can see now where you're on. Yeah, I can see now. <laughs> no, I can no, see no, now no, where you were so I keen to have her no, on. Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, you probably. didn't know she was no. going to say that. Oh, that's all right. No, the next time you go on holiday, stay away. Because all right, then. no harm to you. As the five days goes along, it's more sure you're getting. All right, then. Thank you very much. Eh, uh, except the next time... Sean Coyle comes on, let him stay on. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay, it's a good idea. I'll put it to the people upstairs. Uh, Th- thank you very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <Eddie. laughs> bye. I, you know, this is what's wrong with the people in Northern Ireland. Anyone else would have been upset by that. I know. Where's the next? I wasn't the slightest bit upset. No. I wasn't the slightest bit upset. We have to go now, actually. Oh, uh, true. We, no. yeah, uh, nice to uh, have you, Mr. O'Connor, today, and uh, it's quite in time. We'll be back tomorrow. No, he won't. We'll be back on Monday at the same time, 9.30. No, tomorrow's so, Saturday. No, we'll be back on Monday at the same time, 9.30. And, uh, and, no, is it 9.30? 10.30. 10.30, That's yes, it. So uh, have a nice weekend looking after yourselves. Goodbye. <laughs>